I'm Marlies with the Angler Foil Channel. Yes, I tweet you all the time. I follow you. I was following the contest from Utah. I loved it. So Shannon, we have to know. All our tweeters, all our fans want to know. Is this a semi-autobiographical novel? You suspect that maybe I am a geeky girl that is, was so in love with Mr. Darcy that I couldn't move on with my life. Is that what you're, is that what you're insinuating? Like us, yes. Okay, yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's so embarrassing. You know, I actually did a little cameo in, in the movie, and I got to dress up in the ball gown. And I, I suddenly felt so exposed as I was walking across set and everybody was looking at me, because I felt like, oh no, my secret's out. I, I secretly want this life. And then I was like, I kind of wrote a book about it, so I think my secret's been out for a long time. So, did the set designer have to visit your bedroom to get ideas for <laughs> He's here, he just flew in from England. Oh, do you know what, the life-size cut out of Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy, the tin Yes, I want one. I have one in my bedroom. That's where it came from. Uh, I actually had it before the movie, and so we wrote it into the script. Oh well, it's delightful, we love you, we love the film. Thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck with it. This is Marlies Bolin with Backstage with the Anglophile.